is the year of our Lord, 2018. Oh, no, oh, uh, oh, uh, already? Yep. <sighs> I'm tired, I'm tired out of this. Stop the world, I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to get off. I cannot cite the original source of that quote, but I do know it was a Liam Gallagher tweet and I've taken it very much to heart. This is always a really difficult one to make. Every year, the first video. What, what do you want me to say? Everyone's just cutting about doing their 2017 roundup and making a bunch of 2018 resolutions. Is that what you want? Because here I am, almost four weeks into January. With uh, that. Let's keep it simple. Hello, my name is Ewan. I'm 19 now. I had a birthday in December, so I'm all grown up. And I had a 2017 just like you. And, and now let me grab my laptop and I'll tell you all about it. It was a year of making new friends and meeting old ones from far off places. I got to see the sights to a, a degree, all of planet Earth's finest. My mate Dan moved in and subsequently ruined this fine household. My that was only last year, oh my god. That was like 10 months ago. Wow, life goes slowly when you're living in hell. <laughs> I started some new projects and launched some new things, but most importantly, at the very start of last year, I made a video called 2017 is gonna be my year. And in that video, I set myself a bunch of targets for my 2017, what I wanted to get out of the year. Shall we read them and then reflect? For her. Yeah, that's that sounds good. Here are some of the things that I wanted to get done in 2017. I wanted to join the gym. I have I haven't joined the gym. I wanted to eat more healthy food. I eat a, a bit less meat than I used to. I'm trying to cut that out. Sometimes I buy boxes of blueberries. I wanted to travel more. I actually didn't get on a single plane in 2017. I did go to Paris for about 48 hours and Boy, was that some weird trip. I wanted to make another film. And did you? I absolutely did. And is it done yet? No, but it, it's more done than it was before I made it. It's, it's, <laughs> there is more film now than there was at the start of 2017. <laughs> I wanted to make some video essays. Cool, but not my thing. What? And finally, my absolute favorite on this list, the video that these are all from was part of a series that I did called the Rad Haggis Weekly Vlog, where I made a vlog where I went out and did stuff and had fun once a week ish and my goal at the start of last year was that i wanted to make it properly weekly and not just kind kind of the weekly vlog in question was episode number 10 and as of january 2018 there are there are still 10 episodes that i didn't make it <clears throat> to summarize this segment gold star for me sticker for you thumbs up for everyone and let's not talk about this again, ever. <laughs> oh no, wait, we, we still have to do the bit for 2018. That's, this is only part one. I feel like there's not a lot to go in this segment, probably because it refers to the smallest frame of time. Past is anything that happened, future is anything that will happen, but the present is now. So I thought to remedy this, to liven it up a bit so that by the end of the video you're not saying, wow, that bit in the middle was really rubbish. I'm on my roof. I do feel like I'm about to fall, and if I roll down this part here, I can, yeah, we're about two and a half floors up floors don't go in halves. Yeah, so what's up? Oh yeah, the present! It's that good old story of life in winter again, where I'm basically not really doing an awful lot, but simultaneously kind of feel like I am, but that might just be because I want to trick myself into thinking that I'm not, not, not doing a lot. Some arguable highlights of my current life situation are I'm at university, I'm back, for those of you who don't know, I study film, and I'm in my second year at the moment, and it finally just feels like the pace is picking up a bit. I think coming from a very film-heavy background, where I did a lot of film-related stuff from quite a young age, a lot of the basic stuff that we had to go through in first year, so everyone's definitely been taught it, kind of felt like stuff that, to an extent, I already knew, but also just from doing other stuff in film, I could work out. This isn't me saying it was boring, I had a really fun first year, but 
it's nice to finally feel at a point where I guess I feel like I'm being pushed for the first time to work on my craft and my skills and my form and my etiquette and the way I approach making movies, which is what I like doing. So that's good. As I kind of mentioned earlier, I'm currently in post on my new movie. It means I'm editing it, which is exciting. These are all really movie related, aren't they? Wow. I'm starting to get really excited about it, which is nice because as I'm sure most of you know, working on anything creative ever, there's always that slump between starting a project and getting near the end where you really doubt if it's any good. That obviously stems from the fact that at that point it's unfinished, but it's always a scary point to be at because you continually ask yourself, well, what if this time it doesn't get better? What if this is it? This is actually the bad project. And it's nice that I I kind of feel like my new thing that I've spent lots of money on and lots of time, uh, it, I, it's not that bad. I'm sure you'll see more about that in the near future, but it's, it's looking good. I think to conclude this part, did you also know I'm learning to play the guitar? And uh, what's your reason for that, Macintosh? I love art. Good sentence. But, but film is my craft, film is my thing, film is what I'm really into. However, art is such an expressive field of study and there's so many different elements and sections you can go into in art. And I just love how diverse it is and the people that make it and what they're making and the kind of mediums they're working with. And so I've always tried my hardest to have a pretty broad understanding of most areas of art. Film is my area of expertise, film is the subject that I could talk to you for days about, but I think it's important as someone who wants to make art that I understand the other areas of it. So I know how to paint, I know how to draw, I really enjoy photography, and I have a pretty decent grasp of something like acting. But there's one field of art that I've never known anything about. Like, I have zero grasp of it. I have no understanding, and that's music. I enjoy music as much as the next person. I'd even say I have a pretty solid grasp of how to incorporate it in film and how it works in that context. But as a standalone art, I... Well, I know nothing. It's a small thing, but it's something I think about a lot. It's something I care about, and so as such, it's something I'd like to change. At the start of the video, I was very quick to make a joke out of the goals that I set myself this time a year ago for now, because they don't quite align with where I'm at in the world. And I think the very obvious reason I feel so passive about doing that is because they don't represent a failure on my end necessarily to achieve the things that I want to achieve. And so although it looks like the direction I wanted to take my life in 2017 ended up completely deviating, going on some weird tangent, perhaps it's the opposite. The path that I ended up truly wanting to take was different to the one that I thought I wanted, but that's just because at the time, where I wanted to end up wasn't clear. Does that make sense. With all that in mind, I'd like to set myself a couple of goals for the year going forward, but with one key difference, I want to keep them simple in the hope that in the long run, they'll actually say more about me as a person and represent what I really want to do in life. So in 2018, I'd like to do three things. I want to try really hard to only put my time and effort and money into projects that I truly care about, you know, no more forcing myself into doing things that I have no real interest in and no more pressuring myself to completing something that I don't really care about because it feels like I just have to. Leave it in 2017. I'd like to spend more time focusing on the people that really matter to me, my friends and family, because I feel like in this digital age where everyone and everything is on social media, you can get so spread out. The sheer volume of people that you interact with every day makes it, it's almost hard and in some cases rare to feel like you're having a truly meaningful interaction with someone and that's something that I really want to change. And lastly, I want to feel like I'm doing more things that mean something in the world. I want to find my place in a sense. Because while 2017, as fun as it was, wasn't necessarily the most crazy, action-packed, wild year of my life, I learned so much about how important it is to make things and do things and know people and just exist in a way that means something, that really does mean something, not just to you, but to those around you, and by extension, to the world. So, yeah, there's some goals for me for the forthcoming year. I hope that didn't sound too pretentious. It, it felt like it did, but on the same hat, on the other hat, same... It kind of felt more true to me. They felt like things that I wasn't just saying on the spot, that I wasn't just making up. I want to do this and I want to make that and these things matter to me and I feel like they're open enough that perhaps one or two of them applies to you. 
which is nice. If you like my goals, I'll sell them for five dollars a pop, and then your your life. <laughs> anyway, the point in this video is really to say welcome back to my channel. I took a month break from making stuff to kind of let myself chill out a bit because the Internet Explorers, that web series, what I make, was burning me up. But having finally gotten around to filming this and getting in the swing of it, this is good. This I, I like this. This is my calling, apparently. <laughs> Too long didn't watch. Bitch is back. Bitch has got some things to make. And bitch is excited to have you along too. Clap, clap, clap. Is this for me or for you? Well, I guess you can have this one. Good job. Oh, and also season two of that show, what you all love and what we was was just talking about. Any guesses for when that might premiere? It's tomorrow sometime. It's tomorrow. Look out for that one. Uh, yeah, anyway, bye-bye. That was that one done. See you then. <sighs>